Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Brittany. I'm from ABC Today, and we have Jeff Cunningham here uh, from KFBS, and he is going to talk to us about his career in journalism and his path to get to where he is today. So uh, welcome, Jeff. I'm going to just ask you to introduce yourself and um, maybe just some background of like where you went to school, any certifications, college degrees, that kind of stuff. Okay, well, hey, I'm Jeff Cunningham. I'm a, a news anchor at KPS in Cape Girardeau. I've been here for 17 years now. I've been in the news business for about 25 years, which is crazy <clears throat> to think about. Um, Let's see. Uh, I started off when I was in high school and broadcasting. I, I, I was the kid with a friend of mine who did the morning announcements, you know, and we would always MC the, uh, the talent show or the Christmas program or whatever. And then I also did a little DJing for free at a small uh, radio station there in Oklahoma where I grew up. And, uh, and I just kind of went from there. I always knew that uh, I was going to get into broadcasting. I didn't know it was going to be TV until uh, later, but um, I kind of focused on that. And then um, as far as education goes, you know, a big part of it was um, working at that uh, radio station and kind of getting, you know, the idea of, of using your voice, um, you know, to broadcast. And then uh, I went to college in Texas, but I always tell uh kids or whomever is in, interested in getting them in TV, that um, the biggest thing for me was my internship. I did an internship when I was in college at a TV station in Austin, Texas. Uh, KI42 was the station. Pretty sure it's still there. And um, I learned a ton at that internship. So I'm always surprised at KFES that we don't have more interns. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. And then when I was finishing college, I got my first job at a really small TV station in Texas, Victoria, Texas. Um, and then from there, I went to uh, Lawton, Oklahoma as a morning anchor. And then I went to uh, Tallahassee, Florida. And then I went to Oklahoma City. And then I went to Cape Jordan. So that's been kind of my journey so far. Wow, I love it. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. So what would you say is the best part of your career? And I don't know if you like the traveling part, but if you had to pick one thing about your career, what is it? Huh, that's a good question. So, um, yeah, the traveling was cool when I was single, you know, um, and, and younger. Um, and I didn't stay at those places for very long. Um, and that was cool. It was great to go to different areas and meet new people and, uh, uh, you know, see the the world as it were, as, as kind of that microcosm of where I was, uh, the stations where I went. Um, you know, one cool thing was when I was living in, um, working in Lawton, Oklahoma, I was doing mornings there. And I, you know, I thought, I want to live in Florida. I've always, I, I like Florida. I like Jimmy Buffett. You know, I want to go live there. So I kind of targeted Florida. And, I, and that's when I went to Tallahassee. And uh, some people call Tallahassee uh, South Georgia. I call it Florida. To me, it was Florida. It, it worked, uh, you know, we went to the beach and stuff like that. And that was fun. And then, um, so it was cool to, to be able to do that. And then what's cool now is that after moving around a lot and then getting engaged and then subsequently married, I decided that I wanted my next move from Oklahoma City. Uh, I wanted it to be somewhere where I could put down some roots. And that's where Cape Girardeau came in. So that's why we've been here for 17 years. We, we like it here and it's become home. And uh, so that's been a, a, good, a, good, a good part of, of the journey. Um, it's, it's cool being in Cape and, and we live in Jackson, but um, we feel a part of the community here um, and we've been uh, embraced by this community. So um, that's been a great part of it. It's, it's been a, 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 a nice little... Um, a part again of the journey is finding a place to call home and, and, you know, KFES is a great station. Uh, I like the legacy of it. That was part of the reason I chose to come here. 
and uh, and and that's been fulfilled as well. So. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to go back to something you said earlier about internships. Now, I know every, you know, student has to do an internship and it's kind of considered um, unpaid labor or sometimes you get lucky and you find a paid internship. But for students who are interested in journalism, what advice can you give them when, you know, they're just starting college and they're looking for that internship? What, what advice would you give them regarding it? Well, I just, again, I, it's just wherever you are and uh, whatever you've decided you want to do, right? I mean, that's a big, a big part of it, I think. You got to, I, I see a lot of, even people in the business, they don't really know what they want. You know, they don't know where to go. I talked to a guy who used to work at our TV station um, last week who called me for advice because he's in a station, he's not totally happy and he was trying to figure out you know, what the next move was. And I said, well, what do you want to do? You know, and he didn't really know. And you got, that's one of the things. Now, if, you got to know what you want and then make it happen. You know, I knew I wanted to get into TV. So I worked to make it happen. And that internship was part of it. Now, it may be harder for kids because, you know, you're so young. How do you know what you want to do? But if you do want to get into broadcasting, I would just say you got to make it happen. And part of that is... Um, going, you know, I went to that, uh, in Austin at that time, the CBS and the Fox stations had, had switched over. It was a whole new operation at the CBS, KI 42. This was like in 1994 or something, 95. So I went there and I just said, Hey, I, you know, I want to, I want to intern here. And they were like, okay, cool. And so there was no real structure to it. I just started going in every day and learning the business. And I'd go out on stories with the, uh, with the, uh, the photographers. And, and then I did some sports, you know, I, I worked in sports, I'd go to the games, I'd help them out. I just it was like you said, I was free labor, but I loved it. You know, I was, I was learning the business and I learned so much about the business there than I did in college. Because it's, it's just different. It's that, that was a, 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 the classes that you take in college and stuff. It's all good. I'm not, you know, uh, anti-college or anything but I just learned so much in that internship um, that I honestly feel like that's where I really understood how to put a tape together to then send that out and get a job um, but yeah that I would just suggest that you wherever you are and depending on what you want to do like if you want to get into radio go to a local radio station say hey I, I want to volunteer I want to do whatever and then who knows what will happen from that, you know. I remember when I was interning, the first time I went with this photographer, it was outside of a movie. I forgot what the movie was, but we were interviewing people about the movie. And we came back, and it was on TV. And I was like, hey, that's my hand. You know, <laughs> it was just my hand holding the microphone on camera. But that was like, that's my hand on TV. So The little things, the excitement yeah. that brings it to you. <laughs> Now, um, can you provide more details about, like, I know you're physically on the news. I, I watch that. But can you provide some more, like, jobs that are within journalism, um, whether if it's behind the scenes or other colleagues that you work with or, like, specific departments that maybe students could be interested in? Yeah, so um, what you see on the news is kind of the end product of a lot of people's work, right? So, um, and within the news business, there obviously are a lot of different jobs. So um, if you wanna be on air and you wanna be a, a reporter or an anchor, then you know that's the route I took. And most of the time, how that works is you'll be uh, a reporter first and then you kind of move into anchoring, right? Now, our shows are produced by people, our producers, and um, they are more uh, like that would be for someone who maybe wants to get into writing. You know, it's a creative outlet a lot of times because writing for TV is different than writing for like a newspaper or writing a, a term paper or something like that. There's a style to it. Um, I won't get into all the, all the details, but, um, you know, you can always tell a good producer who's a good writer, you know, and, and, and those are shows you like to anchor because you don't have to change a lot of things as you're anchoring. Cause what we do is I'll go in and, and 
everybody's got a different style and every anchor's got a different style and the producer has produced the show and written it a certain way and then you can change it and make it more you, you know. Um, so there's that. But then there's uh, the photography aspect of, of TV news, right? Uh, we, had, uh, we had a reporter not too long ago named uh, Hank, who is now in Austin, um, and he was really into photography and the uh, editing and making the stories uh, look cool and, 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 and well shot. Uh, so there's that as that's a real creative outlet, you know, and he wanted to go to a, a, a move on to another station that that valued uh, photography. And that's what he did. He went to the station in Austin. That's what they kind of they value that you, you know, you win awards for those things. So that was a creative outlet. So there's that. Then there's, you know, there's sports. Some people may want to get into sports and TV. Um, that's a, a smaller subset. And sometimes that may be even harder to get into because a lot of people want to get into sports. Mm -hmm. But if, you, if you're into it, you know, that's cool too. And um, so there's, you know, there's producing, there's, uh, there's editing, you know, a lot, a lot of the, uh, not a lot, all of the editing we do nowadays is on computer obviously. And uh, there's different programs. And some, some people have this vast knowledge of those programs and how to edit, you know, more than I do. I'm, I'm like at the bottom, you know, I can, I can kind of make it work. But a lot of people know all the ins and outs and you can really dress up a story if you know how to edit mm -hmm. correctly, you know, especially stories that aren't very, um, vi that are video poor. Like, you know, I did a story not too long ago about you know, uh, cell phone uh, safety or something like that. Well, you know, there's only so many shots you can use of a cell phone that yeah. <laughs> before it gets boring. But the guy who edited it was really talented. And so he did all these cool tricks and the phone opened and rang and, you know, little buttons and stuff like that. He really dressed up the story. It made it better. So there's that. Um, and uh, so, you know, there, there's a lot of different facets in TV. You just have to kind of figure out which way you want to go and then, like I said, make it happen. No, that's awesome. I'm learning stuff. I'm learning stuff. I'm also learning that I hope my video editing skills of this video will be up to par. <laughs> um, so my well, last question for you is, what are some of the unexpected parts or challenges in your career that maybe you didn't anticipate, um, maybe when you're, you moved to Cape Girardeau 17 years ago, or even during that, um, kind of undergrad trial period, young professional portion of your life? Huh, well, let's see. So the business has changed a lot in the uh, time that I've been in. And a big part of that uh, is social media, right? And the digital aspect of it. When I was first in the business, there wasn't a Facebook. So, you know, there's that. Now, what's interesting is there for a while, Facebook became this big deal and they wanted us to get on Facebook all the time and to, and to you know, write stuff. That's gone away a little bit now, thankfully, because, you know, that was a bit of a challenge. The thing with Facebook and social media and TV was, um, and still is actually, is that I could get on there and, and put a post and say, Hey, you know, watch the news tonight. We're gonna have this great story about chess or whatever. And, uh, nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No one would respond to that post. But if I got on there and I said, Hey, here's a picture of my dog. Then, Oh, everybody loved it. You know, likes and here's my dog and pictures back. So what we figured out with social media uh, and, and this was a challenge was that, um, the people on social media, they really, just want to know about you mm -hmm. jeff they don't care they're gonna watch the news anyway or they're not you know yeah but they uh, that wasn't a driving factor in getting them to watch but so that's been interesting and then you know also the challenge of what to put on facebook when when you put something that might be considered controversial that's another so thing a challenge these days i i try to stay away from that stuff and if you get, ever get on my Facebook page, it's, I try to make it like the Oprah of Facebook. You know, I'm trying to be just positive. I think you, you do know. a great job at it. I follow you and you do a really great job at it. So Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad someone notices because uh, my life is pretty boring. But yeah, I do. <laughs> I stick to the, you know, I did a post. Um, I think the last one I did was 
asking people what they were doing for New Year's Eve. You know, I was chilling here at my house, listening to albums and, and I drink a little wine or whatever. And, and then I got a bunch of responses to that. So that was yeah. cool. You know, another funny thing about it is you can just, you can, one time I just did peanut butter, crunchy or creamy, go. And then I got like 200 comments, you know, everybody yeah. telling you what. So uh, that's, that's been an interesting challenge is, is incorporating um, social media into uh, what we, that, that wasn't there when I started. And now that's a big part of what we do. You know, KFUS has a Facebook page. Um, they have Twitter and, and things like that. Um, did that answer your question? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, every career has its challenges. And, you know, with the changes from literally your news being on a TV set for so many years, and then this sudden kind of twist with social media and where are you getting your news from is so important and, you know, the importance of the media and who's behind there and that you guys are real people. I, I totally get that. So it did answer my question. I will tell you this though, just to, to follow up on that. And that is that uh, it's also been a challenge as far as when it comes to Facebook and social media, I tell people don't get your news from social media, mm -hmm. from Facebook, it's, uh, because it's so easy for people to make something look legit when it's not, mm -hmm. right? And so what I suggest is um, if you are going to get news from Facebook or social media or whatever, make sure that the source is legit. You know, you, mm -hmm. you want to get your, your news from someone who would get in trouble if they told you something that wasn't true, right? Hence why you have a job, right? Exactly. <laughs> Honestly. And, uh, and if I did it even one time and I could get into a whole thing and I won't, but as far as like the safeguards in place to keep mm -hmm. us, the news business from lying to our viewers or we would never do that. But if I did, let's say one time, um, I would get fired because our credibility is all we've got and you, you don't get a second chance with that. So, um, while Facebook is cool for the social aspect and social media, um, like I said, it gives you kind of an insight into your favorite news person's life. Make sure that you get your news from a legitimate source. And uh, so. I like how you mentioned about credibility, especially with individuals who are in journalism and, you know, who go to get those stories and making sure that they're bringing back the facts and for you all to broadcast. But um, that was my last question. So I'm just going to close for our students at Central High School and maybe other um, high schools that can benefit from this interview with you, Jeff. So um, we really thank you for hopping on and giving us an inside look at what you do, what you're about, and just like the career choice you've made. And I really hope our students are able to benefit from all the information uh, that you were able to give us. And um, you were really great. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, well, thanks for having me. It was my pleasure. Awesome. And